Well, good morning, everyone. This is where we spent the night last night. This is part of the river that we were at in Texas and where I think we're going back to. <laughs> but uh, only drawback on it had a lot of lights. So it was like maybe three this morning before I finally went to sleep. So I'm a little exhausted <laughs> already and I'm just starting. Noah is still sleeping. But I had to wake up to having to do several things before I was even able to take care of myself. But look at that sun in that water. Oh my God. And that water looks beautiful with the sun shining on it. Well, here I am. <laughs> I just showed you where we camped out. Well, basically, we didn't camp out here. We just spent the night here. Uh, the place that we were looking at, unbelievable. But it, it we were looking at, while well, we were following free camping.net and since I have lived in this area before many years ago but I lived out here I pretty much know the area well Noah said we have to go up there because that's what the directions are so we did and we're heading up and I'm going to myself dead gummit this something is familiar about the road and as I got up toward the hill, before you go down to where the trailers and houses are on the lake, it's a very steep, steep, steep hill. I lived at the bottom of the hill about a block, say, from the water, <laughs> from a propane tank. And... We had just come home from church, or we were just coming home from church, and all of a sudden, just as I started going down that hill, my brakes gave way. I couldn't stop the vehicle. There was no way it was stopping. I'm heading down. I pass my house, <laughs> and I'm heading towards a propane tank. Well, just in front of the house, there's like a curve. And I turned the wheel and went down that curve because I didn't want to hit that propane tank because I knew it would kill me and the kids. And uh, so, yeah, that's where we were. As soon as I topped that hill, finally I went all the way around and I'm saying, there's no camping here. I know there is and this is all residential. I lived here. I was buying a place here. And uh, finally we stopped at one little area there where this one lady used to have peacocks, a bunch of peacocks when I lived there. Obviously she doesn't have them anymore because otherwise it would have been outside, I know. But anyway, I stopped and I told Noah, I said, Noah, I knew immediately this is where I used to live. And he said, I figured you knew the area when you stopped at the top of that hill. I said, yeah, bad memories. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we, we went to another spot, and that one did not allow overnight camping. So since we have to go to Zawali, which is where we're at right now, at the park here in Zawali, uh, we decided to stay here at this park overnight. We weren't bothered, so I guess it was okay. Um, but I have to, we had to stay here because I got to pick up a tire. The, the other day, coming back from Nacogdoches, or Nacogdoches, I'm sorry, Nacogdoches, um, the threads on my, on the front passenger side, no, driver's side of my bus started coming off. Piece by piece by piece. 
we made it to the campsite. So there I got a hold of Matt, who works there at the camp, at, not the campsite, but at the ranger station. And uh, he did have one of those four ways to take the lug knots off. So what Noah did is he took the tire off, one of the tires, because they're dualies in the back, so he took one of the tires off and put it in the front, and the one that was in the front right now, I've got it bungee corded because I'm fixing to have a tire put on it, and then put the other tire back where it belongs, it, it, it's just crazy, it's crazy, but, you know, his hand is always with me, and we were fortunate that we didn't have a blowout because we were in the middle of nowhere heading back to camp. No cell service out there. There was no neighbors out there. I mean, it was, it would have been really bad. I do have um, roadside service, but would I have been able to have got a hold of them? I don't know. No, because there was no cell service, so I couldn't get a hold of nobody. But we got that fixed. But another good thing, Matt, the man that works at the ranger station, when we had got back, <laughs> he said, have you looked at your, on the top of the van? I said, no. He says, I left you a couple of gifts. I said, huh? So he says, yeah. He said, for the kitty. Because he knew I, I took jet. And he brought some canned food and some uh, dry food for the cat. <laughs> and that was so sweet of him. So sweet. But anyway, I'm going to let you all go. As uh, soon as Noah wakes up, we'll head into town, get the tires, get the tire, and then have them put the other tire in the back where it belongs, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's weird. You're supposed to be traveling with two, four, six tires on the bus, and I was traveling with five. <laughs> So I'll be very glad to have that six tire put on and get back on the road. I will talk to y'all later. Uh, hopefully I'll have cell service there, but who knows? It's a touch and go. <laughs> so until later, friends. Peace. I love you all. Take care.